Okay, I had some issues connecting, and so I had to restart. Sorry about that. Let me know if you can see and hear me. I see someone's joined me here, so give me a thumbs up if you can hear and see me. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Let me... Okay, thank you, Diane. Let me get us going on Instagram. Okay, so it looks like we're live on Instagram and we're going on YouTube. Okay, so we'll just wait for a couple of people to join in before we get going. And you all, thank you so much for sending in your boxes, by the way. I've got roughly about 40 boxes to open. Hi, Amelia. <laughs> Hi, MJ. Great. I'm glad that you guys can hear me over there. Okay, so, hi Pam, I got your boxes, by the way, or your box. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pam. Hi, Miss Ruby Daw and Sue Smith. So, okay, we're, we've got about 40 boxes to open and it's gonna take us a while. Now, I've already gone through all of the boxes and I've pre-opened them so we can save some time. Hi, Agatha. <laughs> um, so if you're here joining and you're wondering what all this is about, this is, um, well, we're opening a bunch of boxes that are full of dresses for hashtag Project Dress a Girl 2022. And we are dressing little girls who are living in poverty around the world. Um, some of these girls have never, ever owned a new garment of their own. Um, and for a lot of children, this might be their only garment that they will be wearing. So you all actually heard the call that we're going to be dressing children and you really stepped up in a big way, bit in an absolutely big way. Last year, we dressed about 890 little girls and you all, this year we've surpassed that number. We've We've blown that number out the water. It's really amazing, actually. So give me, so if you're on Instagram, show me some love there. If you're on YouTube, show me some love. If you wanna know how many buses we're currently sitting at, you're gonna be shocked. Okay, Aunt Bex, I can't wait to see your dresses. They're gonna be beautiful. Hi, Adam, I'm so happy you joined us. Okay, so this first, this first box is from Miss Terry out in Wisconsin. And by the way, if any of you are here and you see your packages being open, drop the um, actual pattern number or the tutorial that you use to make your dresses in the comments because lots of people see your dresses and they want to know what they are. So look at this cute little beauty with the keyhole opening in the back and that little pansy fabric. Oh, we've got a couple with that same fabric. Look at that. So cute. <laughs> Amelia wants to hear the final number. I bet you do, I bet you do. <laughs> look at this one. So, okay, give me a thumbs up if you think we've hit the 900 mark in terms of dresses let me know if you think we've hit 900 look at that one with the green pockets super cute there she loaded this box up this was a heavy box okay I see Noemi thinks we hit 900 anyone think we hit a thousand A thousand, anyone? <laughs> We've hit a thousand. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I see a thumbs down. Oh, Denise, you didn't think we hit a thousand? You all, we're currently sitting at 1,100 dresses right now. <laughs> we're sitting at 1,100 dresses and we still are sewing this entire week. So if you've been wanting to join in, you still have time to make a dress and post it to Instagram or send me a picture or send me the total number of dresses that you made. Oh, look, here is a little um, Alice in Tent dress. 
in the little paisley fabric. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Denise, you're shocked? I'm not shocked because you know what? You all, you all really stepped up and are dressing these little girls. It is really amazing. I can't wait to see where we're gonna land. We're almost at the finish line, almost. Look at how gorgeous this fabric is with the little birds. Hi, Mark. Hi, Soanne. <laughs> so these dresses, oh, this is the last one. Look how cute. You all, these are really beautifully made. They're lined. These are really going to last a good amount of time for some little girls. So I'm going to put these to the side. And let's open our next box here. This one is from Miss, uh, Miss June out in Florida. Oh, and we've got some pillowcase style dresses with some cute patch pockets and labels on them. Thank you so much. Oh, this is a gorgeous fabric. Look at that one. And <laughs> I'm always astonished at how many dresses you all can fit into these tiny little boxes. <laughs> I'm taking notes. And this fabric seems to be pretty popular, actually. I've seen quite a bit of them with this puzzle fabric coming across. Really cute. Thank you so much, Miss June. <clears throat> okay, so this box is from Miss Donna. Um, hand handmade by Ying with Donna. <laughs> oh, she had fun with Rick Rack on these, you all. Is this the... Yep. So look at this. She, <laughs> she used a jumble Rick Rack and regular Rick Rack. But look at the detail on the back. The yoke is on the outside and it's finished. I've never seen a detail like that before. Have you all? Can you see that? That's really, really creative, actually. I love it. And then here's another one with the facing on the inside. There we go. I love these. Super cute. Thank you so much. Okay, this package is from Miss Donna in... Um, I'm not sure where Donna's from. I'm not sure where Donna's from. <laughs> yeah, Yolanda, the, the puzzle fabric is really great, isn't it? Okay, so these dresses, let me be careful with these because they all have stuff um, in the pockets. So let's take a look. So this is a cute ladybug fabric with the elastic neckline. And then in the pockets, she included little undies and bars of soap. This package smells really good. <laughs> oh, my son says hi. He's over on Instagram. <laughs> hi, Sebby. Okay, we've got another one of those dresses here. We actually have quite a bit of them. There's a third one. Oh, lots of little girls are going to be getting these. And then there's a fourth and a fifth. Thank you so much. And there's hair ties in these as well. Thank you. Oh, and, and thank you for the little package. I'll put it aside. Thank you. This next one is from Pat from New Jersey. Oh, this has, <laughs> look how she packed all of her dresses in here. <laughs> she really got them in. So, okay, let's check them out. So this is a size three. And look, you all, this is, um, she actually put a, the sizes on them, which is nice. Be careful adding in pins because um, sometimes they stick people as they're trying to package them. 
So um, tape, like masking tape, you can write on that, or um, even safety pins. But these are beautiful. Oh, you all look! For all the cow lovers out there. <laughs> Isn't it just adorable? These are really cute. And then there are bees with the polka dots. You all. These, these dresses are gorgeous. <laughs> I saw this one on Instagram. How cute with the um, trim down at the bottom. And then here's another similar one. We've got pink with polka dots. And these are nice because they all tie in the back too. If you can see that. <laughs> and then we have the cute butterflies with the rick rack down at the bottom. Thank you so much. Okay. This next one is from Miss Nancy from California. Okay. Oh, look, they're, they are, they're not reversible, but they're still super adorable. Look at that with the gingham on the pockets. Really cute. And it looks like she made a whole bunch using similar fabrics. So there's a yellow one, a purple one, a blue one. She hit, she hit the rainbow, you all. <laughs> These are so cute. And a green one. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I love them. Okay, so this next one is from uh, Miss Lorena from California. And it looks like she had fun with pockets over there too. That's a nice sturdy dress. This one looks like a Oliver and S popover with some added patch pockets. Oh, look, you all the butterflies. There's been a lot of butterfly fabric come through, right? <laughs> oh, look at how she used the trim on this one with a bias tape. Really love that. By the way, you all, so I am going, oh, here's a really cute little one. Next week, I'm going to start sewing on labels to dresses. So that means that all of the videos that I'll be releasing next week on um, YouTube are going to be highlighting the dresses that you all have made. So we're going to be looking at um, really cute ideas of color blocking. Hi, Julie, you're not late at all. Right on time. <laughs> we're gonna be looking at um, color blocking examples. We're going to be looking at creative ways that people have used trim. So I'll be highlighting your makes this upcoming week. So keep an eye out for those videos. Look at that really pretty floral. Hi, blue eye girl. Look at these pockets. You see that? They kind of blend in, but look at that. And there are, um, hair ties and headbands in the pockets. Really sweet. Here's another one with that really beautiful floral. Oh, you are, I just love little polka dots. Look at that and how she coordinated the polka dots on the pockets with the red trim. That's really sweet. And then we have, <laughs> We have this gray floral with a lace up at the top. <laughs> you uh, I don't, I don't, do I have lace? I might have a little bit of lace. I might see if I could actually adorn one of my dresses somehow. Oh, this is a nice one for a big girl. And actually this is nice because um, the Maryland ambassador here who receives a good number of these dresses, she ran clear out of the larger sizes, like the size 10 and 12s. So this will be perfect. 
look at that and it has that elastic waist which is going to provide some nice shape definition for the little girls they're going to love that one hi Mirta I see you over there <laughs> and here's another gray one with the um lace at the neckline and then we have a cute bumblebee one you see that with the black rick rack so cute. Thank you so much. So do we have anyone who's joined us that wasn't able to participate but is looking forward to next year? Let me know if you're looking forward to next year as well. Oh, um, oh so this one's from Andra from Andra Makes. And she made a big girl dress. Look at that. Really beautiful. Thank you so much, Andra. And if you haven't checked out her, her um, channel, you absolutely should. She makes the most gorgeous items. This bag is from Miss Deborah from Florida. Okay. Oh, these are cute. Uh, so we have some thoughtful creativity dresses here with the tie in the back and the little ruffle. And then we have a little green one. <laughs> I love it. Oh, here's a sweet little blue one. You are. These dresses come together pretty quickly too. They're pretty, they're a good sew. If you haven't checked out Elisa's tutorial, she has two different ones. This was last year's pattern with a little ruffle on the bottom and the bias ties. Super easy. AA, you plan to sew through the year too? Awesome, I love to hear that. You know, um, I think when Carmen Salome had said that she was going to be making one a month, a lot of people ended up jumping on that bandwagon, and I think it's one of the reasons why we had such great... Oh, look how beautiful this fabric is. Um, great numbers this year. Um, where should we go next? Okay, so this one is from M. Taylor from Michigan. Okay. Hang on this. A look at these oh oh wow look <laughs> they just kind of unfurled <laughs> and they're in all different sizes okay so starting from smallest to largest oh you all okay so look at this really cute kind of starry night type of fabric really adorable but look inside the pockets she and her um I believe grandson made little bracelets for all of the little girls and they included it in the pockets. What a beautiful way to get the little ones involved. Thank you so much. And then look at the, look at how she put the little buttons on the pockets. Really cute. These are some really adorable pillowcase dresses. Oh, you all look at this pocket. Look at that. She put a ruffle around the edge. Really cute. Here's a red one. And then we have, oh, I really like how they coordinated the bracelets with, with each of the dresses. They're so sweet. <laughs> they really are. Look at that ruffle. Oh, look at these pockets. You all have been having the best time with pockets. It's been really inspiring. <laughs> I really love them. There's this beauty. And then we have this purple one. And look at the facing that she used. How fun is that polka dotted facing? 
Super cute. So where are you all joining from? Let me know which state or which country you're joining in from. I'm over here in Maryland. In case you guys didn't know where I am, I'm in Maryland, right outside the DC area. Okay, we've got Ireland, <laughs> Utah. We've got Kentucky. Pam, I didn't know you were in Utah. Texas, Florida. Hi, Diana. 26 by Diana. Florida, California. Wow, you all are everywhere. Massachusetts. Okay, so this one is from... Oh, this is from Made by Pam. Oh, look at this one. Scotland! Hey, Scotland! <laughs> That's awesome. I've always wanted to visit. So, you all, look at this. She did pin tucks on her garment going across the front there. How adorable is that? I really love that detail. And then, I know I saw her YouTube channel. She had fun with trims. <laughs> so, here's a little Alice in Tent dress with that V-neck and some rainbow trim. We've got, oh, wow. I think that's the back. We've got another floral with those really cute pin tucks. Hi, Mary from North Carolina. We have uh, I, Ms. Coatley. I think that's Patricia. I see you out there in Louisville. <laughs> Look at this with the, uh, what's that called? Ruching? Ruching, is that ruching? On the back, really cute. Okay, we've got a number of these brown dresses with nice big patch pockets. Love them. <laughs> and and they also they also do have that little stretchiness in the back. I actually think that's elastic, which is even easier. We've got this sweet little number with a really wide Straps, love them. Mm, look at this one with the brown flowers. Hi, Memphis. <laughs> Is Elvis really your neighbor, though? I want to know because we might have to have a discussion if Mem if Elvis Presley is really <laughs> your neighbor. <laughs> There's another beautiful Alice in Tent dress. <laughs> Oh, look at the yoke on this one. That front yoke, it's a nice curved yoke. Gorgeous. And then we've got, oh, this is another one that's the same. Oh, I'm sorry that you had hand surgery. I hope you feel better soon. But thank you for cheering us all on. Really, thank you for cheering us on. Okay. Oh, and I missed this one. Thank you, Pam. Pam, you've been you've been working. <laughs> I think that's 14 dresses total. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Pam. This next one is from Ms. Amy from California. And she sent in two gorgeous dresses. Look at that, <laughs> with the bias down at the hem there, super cute. And then there's this other one. <laughs> I love them. Thank you so much. This one is from Ms. Michelle, <laughs> who left me a little note and said, Hey, let's shoot for 3,000 dresses. <laughs> Next year, maybe we can. So, uh, Michelle, where are you from, Michelle? Sorry. Sorry, I can't tell. New Jersey, New York, maybe? Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Look at how cute this is. Look at the back, you all, with that lace trim, and it ties in the back. That's a gorgeous dress.
Here is another, she, I could tell she had some fun with the trims. Look at how cute that was with the lace. <laughs> this looks like a beautiful Ankara. How nice. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. We've got some pillowcase dresses with lace down at the hem. We've got a thoughtful creativity dress <laughs> with lace around the pockets. We've got this pink one with the Rick Rock trim. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was having fun. This is a cute one, too. Um, it has a little flounce up at the neckline. This is another thoughtful creativity one. And then this is her last one here um, with a really cute yoke up at the front. And look, um, a double ruffle. It's like a layered ruffle at the sleeve. This next package is from Ms. Maureen from Florida. Look at that. And then look, she also included the ties on the back. Now this is a great way. If you have a dress that calls for a zipper, you can include ties going up the back like that to get it, to keep it secured. And um, that's a great solution because we are asking for dresses that don't have zippers or buttons. And the reason for that really is that um, some of these girls, aren't able to sew another button back on because they may just not have the kits and things like that. And if a zipper busts, then they're out of a garment. So when you add ties like that on the back, it really helps them last longer. How adorable is that? Thank you so much. And th these all came from Russell Sprouts Handmade. Okay, we've got a little one here from Miss Paulette from Minnesota. And look at that cute, that little cutie right there with a the ruffle on the bottom. Super cute. <laughs> yeah, Mirta, so many generous and talented women and, and men are, con are participating actually. This, it's really a blessing. This package is from Miss Molly from Florida. Okay, so we've got some red <laughs> look and the little ladybug fabric on the pockets that's been another really really popular one actually the ladybug fabrics in all the different colors these patch pockets are great I'll tell you what my little kid when when he was probably two three years old he would try he he would test the capacity of his pockets <laughs> he would shove cars into them until he couldn't anymore so this one's from miss kim from connecticut and and everyone thank you for the cards and the beautiful letters and things that you're sending i do add them to my inspiration board so i do read them all look at this really fun one look at the colors of this fabric with the pink flamingos Oh, that's gorgeous. And this dress, this is another big girl dress. It's a pillowcase style with a little button on the pocket or two pockets there. Thank you so much. Wow, okay. This package is from Miss Mary from North Carolina. Oh, there's a lot in here, hang on. Wow. She, re she really looked, let me, let me just pan down here so you guys can see what I'm working with. It's a bag full of dresses that are just rolled up. Let me show you here, uh, if I can, hang on. Ooh. Can you see that? a lot of dresses you all okay let's do this <laughs> they're so cute <laughs> look at that 
little elastic necklines, always good and perfect. You don't have to worry about the fit up at the necklines. They have cute little pockets. Look at this one. Let me step back a little bit so you guys can see the... Oh my gosh, this looks like a really fun one <laughs> with the neon colors. I don't know where some of you all find these fabrics. They're amazing. Oh, this one is really adorable. Let me get up close. Can you see all those pin tucks at the front of the dress? That is really cute. Oh, oh, look at these with the trim down in the front of the pockets. <laughs> Here's a chambray feeling dress. It's got some nice drape to it. And then here's a gorgeous purple with pink trim. We have brown and green with the blue flowers on it. Oh, you all, thank you so much. We're, we're going to be dressing so many little girls. Isn't it amazing? Like, think about it. Think about it. Right now, we have enough dresses to dress 1,100 girls living in poverty. You all, you all are amazing. You really are. <laughs> There's that blue floral. <sighs> We've got another one in a bit of a smaller size like that. Amelia, it really is a blessing. It's a, you know, if you... If you all have the time today, you should head on over to dressagirlaroundtheworld.com. Um, that's where the dresses are going to be donated this year. And um, they actually have some pictures of little girls. And they show you some of the living conditions that they're in. And then they also show you other pictures of little girls wearing some of your dresses. <laughs> this is a really cute one. I love that green. Yeah, 1100 is so huge, Melanie. Or... Um, Michael Lee, my, I believe it's Michael Lee, the sewing, the sewing brat. Oh, you're getting good ideas? Me too. <laughs> Look at this one. Now, um, some people have actually asked, well, how do I know where to add the pockets onto my dresses? Well, a good guideline would be to take your dress And assuming that it's hitting at around like the knees or a little below, if you fold it in half, the top of your pockets should land right there. And that's actually a pretty decent way to judge where the pockets should go, in case anyone's ever wondering. <laughs> it took me a bit to figure that out, so thought I'd share the tip. There's three of these dresses right here with this beautiful fabric. And nice patch pockets. Awesome. And then we have a neutral color dress. And do all of these have sleeves? No, they're all different. They're all different dresses too. Look at that. Here's a big girl dress. That's going to be really handy. Um, again, for anyone who's just joined us, the uh, my Maryland ambassador here. Her name is Marissa. She did reach out to say, "Hey, I'm r I've run out of ten and twelve size ten and twelve. So if you are thinking about maybe making one more dress, um, a size ten or twelve would be amazing. Um, but if you don't have it in your stash, if you can't do it, I mean, don't push yourself. Really. And there's another brown one." And with that being said, um, look at how cute this one is with the little red and white flowers. I've been getting a lot of messages from people who, you know, are just like really kind of sad that they are not able to participate this year for any, any given number of reasons, right? And this is what I'd like to tell you. You need to take care of yourself first and foremost. 
because you surely cannot bless people without having yourself in order first. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself and then we'll see you next year. Please don't feel bad if you can't contribute this year. If you can, amazing. We'd love to have you here. But if not, you know, we'll, we'll catch you next year. Look at that one with the yellow trim around the top and the bottom. <laughs> this is, um, this bag is really loaded up, you all. Yeah, Agatha, you're right. Agatha says her grandma used to say that you can't fill a glass from empty. Yeah, and she's absolutely right. Smart grandma. So if you all missed it, <laughs> I went to the post office. I really love this green one. I went to the post office on Thursday to go pick up a couple of boxes because, then, you know, every time I go, I, I might get like a bin, you know, with those, those plastic bins. I might get a bin of boxes. This Thursday, when I walked in there thinking I was going to make a quick trip to the post office, they said, um, can you pull her out to the loading dock? <laughs> We've got a lot of packages for you. <laughs> and they sure did. We loaded up my car and then it started raining. So, <laughs> but we made it. We made it back. Miss the rain or miss getting wet, I should say. Thank you so much for all of these beautiful dresses. Okay, this next package is from Miss Carla from Florida. Okay. Uh, oh, we've got lots of undies. Thank you. Um, I will be adding these to the pockets of the dresses, so I'll put that aside. Look at this yellow one. You all, so she ran a drawstring through casing that she created on these dresses. How cute. Really love that. Here's a pink one, same style. Aw, these, I saw these on Instagram, you all. This fabric, how precious is this fabric with a pink bias around the pockets. This is Thoughtful Creativity's pattern for this year that she contributed to the event. Um, super amazing. <laughs> Here's another one. <laughs> really love. So have you all found that you've been sewing in like a specific colorway or like a specific designed fabric? It's, um, so no, it's not too late to send dresses. So um, let's talk about the timeline then real quick. There's one more of these dresses. So we are sewing dresses. Look at that trim down the middle. Super cute. It's not too late. We're sewing dresses all the way up until September 30th. And on September 30th, you can post your pictures to Instagram using hashtag Project Dress a Girl 2022. Or you can send me a total number for your dresses and I'll add that to the count. And while we're talking about the count, I see Julie's really active in the chat, helping answer questions. So Julie volunteered this year to help me count all of the dresses. So if you see her, you know, commenting on your post saying, add it to the count. She really is adding your dresses to the count. I mean, I, I bug her every now and then like, Julie, did you see that number? <laughs> She's going to get annoyed with me sooner or later. <laughs> but we're almost to the end. <laughs> so sew all the way up until the 30th and then put your dresses in the mail that very first week of October. So I think you have, I think that's up until October 8th. Get those dresses in the mail all the way up until October 8th. And I'll wait for them to come and then we'll donate them towards like mid to late October. Oh my gosh. I opened a package and I have no idea who this one was from. Um, 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If if you're on here and you, these are your amazing dresses, let me know. Look how cute this fabric is. Love it. And then we have little princess. You can print them. You can order them. You can send me. We're talking about labels here. You can print the labels and put them on yourself. You can order them, sew them on, or you can just send me your dresses without the labels and I'll be happy to add a label for you. Look at this one. There's another one. Okay. This is a little glittery fabric. Can you see? Um, I don't think it's picking up. The glitter is picking up in this one, but it's really adorable. <laughs> and then we have this yellow one. Oh, oh uh, so Julie Mirta is on Instagram and she's saying, please add three more to the count for her. <laughs> PR underscore Mirta, M-I-R-T-A. Oh, you all, look at how cute this fabric is. It looks like little paint splashes. Super cute. <laughs> oh, these are from Patricia. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So this next box is from Miss Flo from Washington. Oh, you guys, I love a good heart pocket. Can you see those? <laughs> no, those are amazing. And then here's a second one. Oh, this is a beautiful fabric too. Love it. Hi, Brenda. You, um, when we're done here, I'm gonna have to show you my mess. I have no idea how I'm gonna get out of this room. <laughs> um, so this is from, um, this is from P. Weston from Rhode Island. Okay, Miss Paula. And look, there's a cute heart pocket on that one. This is a thoughtful creativity one from last year. Yeah, Pam, I did see that you printed all your labels and then you sewed them on. Um, okay, this is good. Let me put that back. You can also iron them on too. So if you wanted to print them onto like the iron on label stuff, you can do that as well. This next box is from Miss Debbie from, I can't tell if that's Idaho or Iowa. I love a good cat print though. <laughs> you all check this out. You see that cat print? <laughs> I love it. Super adorable. And so we've got, let's see, a couple of purple ones. This fabric's gorgeous. And these do have a tie in the back. And then we have a dusty rose colored one. Same, same pattern. This is a beautiful pattern. Look at that one. And then look at the lining on the inside of this one. Gorgeous. Here's another purple. <laughs> and then here's one bright, vibrant green one. Oh, I just love that green. This one is from D. Bailey from Virginia. Oh, the Craftabilities is asking what the latest count is. Y'all, yeah! anyone on Instagram know what the latest count is? Let her know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I won't leave you hanging. It's 1100. We are currently sitting at 1100 dresses right now. Okay, um, I got sidetracked. Sorry. Let's look at that bow on that pocket. <laughs> Love it. And then there is this cute one. I like how she color blocked that with the floral and the leaves here's a cute green one with patch pockets nice roomy pockets we <laughs> she got she had fun with these patch pockets let me show you 
And then there we go. There, <laughs> that's how they put their little hands in it. And she put little X's, little zigzag X's on that. And then we have, oh, how cute is that? Oh, I lost one. We've got this purple. You all look at the pockets on this one. <laughs> Trimmed out in lace. You all are having a lot of fun with these pockets. I love it. There's this. Deb's Ways in Florida. Hey, Florida. Florida's coming in strong. Actually, so has Michigan. I've seen a lot of Michigan boxes come through. Look at that one. And the last one here. How cute. And isn't it kind of funny how these pockets just blend in? <sighs> hey, I like where you're going. Oh, the craft abilities. She says we're going to have two times the amount from last year. I, that would be truly amazing. I hope so. <laughs> Bugs are attracted to yellow. Are they? I didn't know that. Wow, see, now you're going to have me Googling all night. <laughs> okay. I did it again. This one is from Thompson from um, Nevada. And look how cute this is. It has ties, patch pockets. It's a nice long dress, beautiful. And then look at this pastel number. <laughs> this reminds me of my, um, when I was younger, I used to love binge watching Saved by the Bell. And that kind of reminds me of like that kind of, <laughs> that era, that color. Okay, so these came a good distance here. These came from Miss Farah from Trinidad, West Indies. So these beauties made it a distance. How, how do I open this though? Um, okay, I see. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, oh. So she made a bunch of drawstring bags for her dresses. Look at that. <laughs> Super cute. So we've got quite a number of them in all kinds of vibrant colors. Isn't that nice? It's really sweet. So the dresses can go into the bags. And then we have, hang on. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Did she make little undies too? You are, she made coordinating undies. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, let's do this. We've got some pillowcase dresses. We have two in that color. We have a couple in this really cute floral. Yeah, I can't believe that she made underwear. Matching little undies. <laughs> so cute. We've got that dress and this really gorgeous purple. Look at that fabric. Look at the drape on that. Oh, it's really beautiful. We have this one and then we've got some bigger ones here. We have blue and teal. This green. And then we also have this purple and teal. I just love these two colors together. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much. But really, really, you all, she made underwear. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's great. 
Oh, I dropped one. This next box is from Miss Stephanie from California. <laughs> Stripes and polka dots, you all. How cute is that? And then we have this blue with a patch pocket. And you all, I really have to say thank you because you all are really being, you all have been putting pockets on all of your dresses and it's really, it's really amazing. We've got this. I mean, because they really, they really do come in handy when you see how these little girls use the dresses. And then there's another one just like that too in a reverse color way. There we go. And then we have, <laughs> oh, you are. <laughs> Look at those mix and match pockets. <laughs> Aren't they just the cutest? Here's a thoughtful creativity dress. And here's another. You are, there are just so many dresses. I mean, what a blessing. Really cute. And then we have two more. We've got that one with the polka dots. And we have this really cute yellow. Thank you. Um, okay, let's do this big box. This, this next box, I'm not even going to try to pick it up. It's just big. Um, this is from Miss Vicky from Pennsylvania. Okay, so we've got t-shirt dresses, actually. These are great. If you haven't made one of these, you, <laughs> you have to try it out. They come together so quickly, but you basically cut the bottom off of a dress and you add on a woven skirt. And the reason why we do that is because it really helps these dresses last a whole lot longer. And it provides them with pockets. She stuffed the pockets with undies as well. So you see that one? Yeah, and you all, like again, if you're just joining us, Julie volunteered to help me count dresses and it is no easy task. So you might see her commenting on all of your posts saying, hey, add it to the count. She really is adding your dresses to the count. <laughs> She's been a really huge help and I couldn't thank her enough for the amount of time that she's been putting into adding all of your dresses to the count. Um, for anyone who is messaging me directly, I'm adding those to the count. Even with these boxes, I went through and I opened all of these early. <laughs> and um, for any for any of the dresses that weren't actually on Instagram, here's one using a tank top. <clears throat> I went ahead and I added your dresses to the count as well. So this entire shipment is in the count. The next unboxing that we're going to do is going to be next Sunday, and that'll be the last one. And I'll try to capture as many dresses there. Look at the motif on that one <laughs> with the fun lemons on the bottom. You have it. These dresses are amazing. Um, so we'll do one more unboxing, and I'll try to capture as many dresses there. But you guys could really help me big time by just sending me a message, whether that's on Instagram or email, wherever, letting me know that you don't have Instagram, but you've set, like you've made X number of dresses. So that way I can add it to the count. And it helps prevent me from having to open up each box and individually go searching for you all. Here's another one. Look at that. Super cute. <laughs> There is a Florida ambassador. I, Michelle, I think you're right. I think it is Jacksonville that is participating. 
these are really gorgeous. So it looks like she just got really kind of busy with these shirts. And if I'm not mistaken, I think her note said that she caught a super duper sale on t-shirts and just bought them all up. <laughs> Look how cute they are, you all. These are really amazing. Okay, so that was one package from her box. Here's some more. We've got the black again with the cotton skirt added on. <laughs> Those tank tops are really fun, weren't they? <laughs> and and I like that they're for bigger girls as well because they really are needed. And I think Marissa, if Marissa Bowman's on here, I think she's gonna be super happy with all of these big girl dresses. Here's another one. Okay, here's one that's a little different. <laughs> Look at that. Little pillowcase style with a ruffle on the bottom, some patch pockets. Yeah, Marissa's, Marissa, you got some dresses. You got some big girl dresses. <laughs> we have the green with the black. And then we have Another one. Beautiful. You all, these dresses are amazing. Did you see, um, oh my gosh. I, man, I can't remember the name. It just, it totally escaped me. Um, somebody made a tutorial for how to make hidden pockets. <laughs> and it was so cute. There's another one of those really cute flamingos. I'll have to take a look at it. It is in for um, anyone who's looking for um, Project Dress a Girl 2022 videos, I do have a playlist where I've been finding all of the videos that people have been releasing and putting them into the Project Dress a Girl 2022 playlist. And so if you go to, um, if you visit me on YouTube at Mari Sews, you can easily find that playlist and find your video. If you made a video and it's not in there, um, please just ping me so that way I can add it. Gray and orange. And here's another gray and orange. Okay, this is the last bag from her box. Woo! Okay, I've recovered them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you all, look. She used rib knit tanks <laughs> and attached a little koala fabric onto the bottom. Oh, I can't with her. Are there, and there's little pockets. <laughs> These are really adorable. So there's another one with undies. And then we have quite a bit of these t-shirt ones with this green multicolored multi floral. So we've got that. There's another one. We've got this one. Various sizes. Amazing. <laughs> I just love them all. Okay. We've got some with this green here. With a little tank top. Love them. I'm trying to pick out some of the different ones here. We have... Oh, oh, oh. This looks like an Oliver and S pullover or popover. See that with the purple patch pockets? And then we have this one. And oh, look at this. It's got like kind of that purple tie dye with the purple floral. And then here's a little. <laughs> is this tiny little dress you all oh my gosh so thank you so very much for all of these dresses oh hang on two escaped me <laughs> we've got this one with the stars and then this koala one with the white tank on the top <laughs> so cute
Okay, this box is from Miss Karen from Wisconsin. Look at that. That's a really beautiful fabric. We've got lemons. Here's the front with a little yellow patch pocket. We have little tiny bows. <laughs> More butterflies. Who doesn't love a good butterfly? Oh, someone lost their war or their race. Do, what, bobbin chicken? You know, where you're like sewing and you're trying to beat the bobbin. <laughs> she didn't quite beat it. <laughs> you all are funny. This package is from Miss Susan from Florida. Oh, this is a gorgeous, two little gorgeous dresses here. Look at that fabric. Isn't that nice and vibrant? Love it. And there's a second one. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is from, who sent this one? A, H, H E A, from Pennsylvania. Okay, we've got more t-shirt dresses. Look at this one. How cute. The blue, and then we've got this little butterfly. This is a, is this a pillowcase dress? No, this is a thoughtful creativity dress with the rickrack on the back. <laughs> How many of you all have been really enjoying the thoughtful creativity dress that she released this year? This one right here with the fun pockets. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up and let me know if you've been sewing up her new pattern. Yeah, those pockets are great, aren't they, Michelle? Here's another one with the green and coral, love. And then there's this yellow one. Denise says she has. And then there's that one. Thank you so much. This next one, oh, speaking of thoughtful creativity, this box is from Miss Elisa herself. Oh, I've got candy flying out of here. I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to share that. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in here. Hey, let me pick this stuff up before I squish it. Okay, we've got a lot of beauties here. So she made a couple of big girl dresses. Look at that. And that has the fun pocket right there. You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? It's a bigger version. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she also has a tutorial for this dress as well in case anyone's interested in making one for donation or for, or for themselves. <laughs> Super cute. And then there's this gorgeous floral with the bias ties. You see that? And the pockets. Really cute. And then there's this black number. How gorgeous is that fabric, huh? There's so, yeah, there are so many cute patterns. How many of you all have used um, her pattern from last year? The one with the little ruffle on the bottom? This has been a really popular fabric, by the way. I don't know where you all are getting them, but I see them quite often. <laughs> it's really beautiful. And then these are a bunch of little ones that she <laughs> batch sewed. Oh, here's the front. 
How fun is this fabric? With the flamingos, it's so vibrant. Yeah, Maria, the, la the one from last year was cute too. So she has one, two, three, four, five more of that dress right there. So special thank you to Elisa, not only for designing these dresses, and by the way, like uh, d designing them can't be easy and putting in all these hours to making the videos and the tutorials for it, but also for donating so many because really it's, it's really going above and beyond and I really do appreciate it. This next box is from Miss Janet Stat, Miss Janet from Florida. You are, I love me a good Amazon bag, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Definitely reuse that one. Okay. We've got some pillowcase style dresses with patch pockets. Oh, and this one's cute. This one has a bunch of little rainbows and polka dots on it. <laughs> and then we have the green with the white bias. And there are pockets on all of these. They're just kind of blending in. They're so cute. Brenda likes to line bodices. You hate binding. I, I feel you. I um I think I enjoy binding now that I've done so much of it, but I definitely didn't start that way. How many of you all have been making the dress by um Jeray Desiree, the Allison Tent dress? It's such a cute pattern. Yesterday, I actually showed you all, all of the different hacks that I've been making to that dress pattern, but gosh, it's such a beautiful pattern. Aunt Bex, you made, you made an Allison. Yeah, Maria, the serger is so much faster. You know, I was actually looking online because um, it's National Sewing Month, and like my press, the presser feet for my machine are buy one, get one 50 off. Ah! Oh, look what she can do with the pockets. You all, you all. <laughs> it's so cute. I think I'm going to, I think I'm really going to invest in a good ruffler foot for my machine this year. After seeing Allison with her ruffler, I just, I'm going to stop playing games, you all, and get me one that fits my machine. And this is another one from Trinidad from Miss Farah. She's the one who made all those cute little undies and bags that matched the dresses. All right, let's see what's in this one. Okay, so we have more, more bags. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and these are all pillowcase style ones. Wait, you have a ruffler on your serger? I didn't even know that they had rufflers for sergers. You all, that's pretty amazing. Look at this cute little purple pillow dress. We've got another one of these. We've got this one right here. These all have elastic at the neckline. Here's a really beautiful black, blue, and purple fabric right here. And then we have this one. Ooh. This pink and yellow. Oh, here's another one of these. I really like this design, that color. And then I saw one of these in the other box as well. So cute. And this one. Miss Farah, thank you. I think it was, I think she was working with a, um, another person or two out in Trinidad to make these beautiful dresses. And then she shipped them to me, you all. I mean, how amazing. This box is from Ms. Elaine from, this is Massachusetts. Sorry, those, the MAs, Emmys, MSs, they kind of trip me up every now and then. 
here we go. Oh, I do love a tiered ruffle, you all. Look at this one. Oh, I love the colors on this. And then there's another one. Oh, there's three total in that colorway. Beautiful. Oh, and look at this little fall one with the bow up at the neckline, the elasticated necklines. Gorgeous. Here is one of those dresses that tie up at the top with some nice big old patch pockets. Yeah, Denise, they are beautiful for the fall, right? We have this green one with patch pockets. Here's a tan colored dress. Yeah, the orange and the yellow. I agree with you, Christine. That, <laughs> that one had my heart. Oh, look, this one has green pockets instead of the brown. And then we have another fall inspired one. Here's a pretty blue one. It's so funny. Sometimes I can tell, um, you know, if you all have favorite colors by the types of dresses that I get in. Because sometimes I might get a, a box of entirely like blue dresses. <laughs> Here's another one. And then we have a third um, blue purples. <laughs> That's another big one. Here's pink. I see over on YouTube, y'all are sharing some ruffling tips. I'm gonna have to go back through and scroll through. <laughs> Here's another one of those pinks. And then we have two of these right here, these blues in the pillowcase style. Now you all, I know that I call these a pillowcase style. They're not made from pillowcases. These are made from woven cottons. The reason why we don't use pillowcases to make um, these dresses is because oftentimes they are really much thinner, much more sheer. They don't hold up to the wear and tear that these girls need them to hold up to. So please don't sew your pillowcase dresses with pillowcases. <laughs> oh, and look at the trim on the bottom of this one that coordinates with the pockets. Love. And then here's another one in the same exact colorway. And then we have another one of these fall leaf ones. Gorgeous. Okay, we're getting there. We have four boxes left. This one is from Miss Dachi. Um, here we go. <laughs> she had fun with the trims, you all. Look at that. <laughs> this looks like it's an Alice in Tent dress. <laughs> with a lot of trim. I love it. And then we have... Oh, this is a nice, sophisticated-looking dress. Look how cute that is. With a little rickrack. We have this one. I like how she brought the... The strip down the middle of the skirt. That's such a clever idea. I like it. And here's one with a, um, looks like an eyelid maybe, fabric on the sleeves. Yeah, those panels are really cool. Here's one, <laughs> here's one with some eyelet trim. Um, hang on. Oh, these, <laughs> I keep flipping this one around because it has big pockets on both sides. So I guess you could wear it back to front or front to back. <laughs> That's really cute. <laughs> and then there is this gorgeous little number. And then here's a last one with um a lace pocket. Hang on. You see those pockets? So much fun. Thank you so much, Dachi. This next box is from Miss Rhonda Henderson. 
We've got t-shirt dresses. Yay! Look at that. Little design there on the top. <laughs> really cute. And then we have a woven dress. Oh, you are. Okay. Okay. How adorable is this pattern? Hang on. Let me hold it up for you. So it has heart pockets right here. But look at the back. It has a little keyhole opening with that little fastener. And that is, she did, she did me a solid. That is not a functional button. That's for decoration there. Beautiful. <laughs> a t-shirt with another woven bottom. Oh, look at how cute this little thing is. <laughs> We've got a number of dresses here. Look at that. With the giraffes. This one's loaded up. <clears throat> Here's another one with a woven bottom. Nice bright colors. And then here is this t-shirt with that same button down feature in the front. This is cute. Look at that. Look at the pockets on this one. She used her, um, she used a embroidery stitch on her machine. That's always fun to work with. And actually I've been having fun trying out some of the new stitches on my machine that I don't typically get. <laughs> I saw this one and I thought, how cute with that little elephant. <laughs> little elephant pocket, totally adorable. Here's a nice vibrant orange dress. Some of these little tiny things are so darn adorable. And then here's a black one with a pink and black floral bottom. Oh, here's a gingham. You are. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I remember when I was um when I was young, my mom used to send me to Puerto Rico to stay with my grandmother for the summer. And I remember one year she took me to the local um seamstress on the corner and she went and she had this dress made out of um pink gingham and you all I was the biggest tomboy and so I had this big old roughly pink gingham dress and she made me wear it and I was so upset so ungrateful I was just a little I was a little shit you all <laughs> and now I look back on it and I think Oh my gosh, that dress was so amazing and I was so ungrateful and I really regret it now, <laughs> especially now that I sew and I know how much work and effort goes into something like that. <laughs> I don't even think I brought it back home with me. I don't even think it came back in the suitcase with me. I, man, I was, I was horrible. <laughs> There's this one. Uh, okay. Here's a tie-dye one with um, a woven bottom with pockets. You all, there's a lot of these. Here's another one. Oh, this one has a little ruffle on the bottom too. Super cute. <laughs> Deborah, you were, you were a tomboy too? Yeah. Look how cute. Okay, so that was that large box. We have two smaller boxes and then we are going to be done here you all we're dressing so many little girls this is exciting where do you all think we're going to end up i mean we're sitting at 1100 dresses right now don't forget to post your pictures to instagram use hashtag project dress to girl 2022 so that way i can add your dresses or julie to the count but where do you all think we're going to land we're at 1100. You know, you all know we love a good sewing deadline, right? And it's for a good cause. 1500 maybe? Will we get that high? You think 1300, Deborah? Cookie, cookie, I like the I like the way you're thinking. Let's put them good vibes out there for 2000. <laughs> wow, 2000 would be That would be amazing. 
Oh, it's another Allison tent dress. You all, look at this fabric. So, if you're not aware of the Allison tent dress, it is free for this month only for this event. Jazz from Jeray Desiree designed this dress, released it for this event, and it's free if you download it this month. So if you want it, um, the free code for this on the jeraydesiree.com website is um, PDAG22. So make sure that you're downloading it this year. And if you like the pattern like I do, get the adult version for yourself because you... <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna live in that thing. Look how cute this one is. Maria thinks eighteen hundred. Wow. Okay, we've got. I think I missed something that Aunt Bex said. I'll have to check that out. I really love this fabric. This really cute chevron. This is a thoughtful creativity from last year. You all. <laughs> I really love that pattern, too. You know, I don't have a girl. I have a goddaughter, but she's out in Ohio, so I don't get to sew many things for her. This is a, this year, Thoughtful Creativity. And look how sophisticated this one looks. Wow, I kind of want to dress like that. So this, this event really gives me a reason to sew all the, like, the, the frilly, roughly, cutesy stuff that I hated to wear when I was little. <laughs> I get to make it all. I really love this t-shirt dress. Okay. And we have one last dress to go, one last box to go. This one is from P. Ash from California. Yeah, the t-shirt dresses come together so quickly. Sorry, there's a little note in here. Let me just put it aside. And this is from Miss Paula. Look at how cute this pillowcase dress is with those cherries. There's two of them. And then we have a couple of pillowcase dresses here. <laughs> with the crown fabric. You see that crown fabric on there? But look. It's layered, it's got a big old ruffle over the top, probably to help with the sheerness. And I think that's a beautiful way to deal with the sheerness of the actual fabric. Love it. So we've got three of those. We've got this really cute, tiny little number. That looks like the traditional style pillowcase. And we've got another one there. We've got three of those total. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. I'm happy you could join in both places. <laughs> We've got this brown one. Oh, here's a fun one with turtles. You all, look at them. Turtles and fish. Oh, love it. <laughs> Let me step back for this one. How cute is that? And then, oh, here's a... Last year, we got a lot of polka dot dresses in. Not so much this year, which is really interesting. But here's another polka dot one. I mean, I could maybe count on my hand the number of polka dot dresses I've seen. That is really gorgeous. Oh, I like this one too. <laughs> and then we've got the blue fabric with the red cherries again. And the last dress, you all. <laughs> Look at that one with the red patch pockets. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> okay, well, thank you everybody for <laughs> joining in. Let me show you. I have no idea how I'm going to make it out of this room. Let me just show you my mess. You see that? I've got some work to do. <laughs> I made a mess and now I need to clean it up. <laughs> but I'm happy to do so. <laughs> you all, thank you so much for making all of these amazing dresses. 
Right now we're sitting at 1100 little girls that we're going to be dressing both here in the US and around the world. And it's really, really extremely exciting. And I can't wait to see where we're going to end up. Don't forget, you can sew all the way up until September 30th. And then post your pictures on Instagram using the hashtag Project Dress Girl 2022 or send me your dress total. And then ship your dresses off that very first week of October. All of the dresses that are landing, um, that are being posted with the hashtag are going to be included in the collage. I can't guarantee that your dresses are going to be included in the collage at, you know, the end of the event if they're not posted with that hashtag, just because we've got dresses coming in from everywhere. And it's a bit of a logistical um, nightmare trying to find every single one. So although they are being added to the count, if you're not using the hashtag on Instagram, they may not end up in the collage. But it doesn't mean that your dresses aren't as beautiful as any of the other ones. And they're all like super, super amazing. And they're going to be a huge blessing for little girls who really don't have much to wear. These dresses might be their only dress that they're going to be wearing for a long extended amount of time. So thank you again so much. We're going to be do one more unboxing <laughs> next Sunday, and that'll be the very last one. And then I'll be packing up all of the dresses, sewing on labels, and we'll be getting them out to the different Dress -A Girl Around the World ambassadors. So thank you so very much, you all. I really do hope that you have an amazing day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye, everyone.